Hello, I'm back with the grading tutorial that I did promise about a year ago. Um, I'm sorry, it's not that I'm lazy. I work full time in the day doing accounting, and then I work full time at night when I come home um, running my business where I help um, people starting clothing lines um, and don't know how to do it. I uh, do. I offer them the services beginning and end. So it is just. I, I hardly have time to sleep, honestly. <laughs> um, but I'm never bored. So here is the grading tutorial. Now to do this tutorial, you probably want to watch my other tutorial first, um, the one on how to digitize your patterns into Adobe Illustrator, so that you can get to this point. Um, because we obviously need your piece digitized to grade it. So um, grading, there's a lot of things that go with grading. I'm not going to show you the theory of grading or the concept of grading. I'm just going to show you how to grade in Illustrator. And there's more than one way to do it. And I am not a good teacher. This isn't my thing. My thing is being creative and artistic and numbers <laughs> and money. So um, just bear with me. Now, I'm just going to do this uh, a little uh, kind of quickly. Um, Let's break this down. So these numbers look confusing, but this is a size small pattern. And uh, let's say it's a size small. And these numbers represent um, how you grade it up to the next piece. So it says 1 16th up, 1 8 to the right. That means to grade this a size up here at this point, we go 1 16th up and 1 8 to the right. So these increments here are um, to 1 16th. So let me show you how to set up your page. Go to Illustrator, Preferences, and then we're going to do Guides and Grid. So you may remember this from uh, the previous tutorial. We want a grid line every one inch because we are doing this just like a ruler. See this ruler right here? Um, probably, it's probably a good idea that you are very familiar with a ruler and numbers because grading is all about numbers and uh, you, if you're not good at it, get good at it. It's really not that hard. Just, you know, commit to learning it. So this is a ruler. That's an inch. It's divided into eighths. And then over here is the sixteenths. Um, in some grading, it's necessary to break this down into one thirty seconds of an inch. And yes, it does matter in grading. Um, let's get rid of that guy. So we want a grid line every one inch. And we want one division, one subdivisions of 16. That means it, we're breaking this page down to 16ths of an inch so that you know where to move the dots. So let's hit OK. And then the next thing is, I just discovered this last night. I was so excited. Go to Preferences again and go to General. It says Keyboard Increments. So this is how far your cursor moves when you hit up, down, or left, right on your keypad. I want my keypad, my keyboard increments to be 0 0.0625. And how I came up with that is I want it moving to a sixteenth of an inch. One divided by 16 is 0 0.0625. So that's how we came up with that. If that's confusing you, just write it down and just trust me on it. Hit OK. Um, and then what else? So we also want to um, make sure that we have um, your small is here and we want to paste another exact pattern on top of your small because we're going to be grading the small to a large but we want to keep that small on the board. So this is how we do it. I'm going to just go ahead and erase this. Uh oh. Okay, let's bring that back. Okay, I'm probably going to want to erase this. Okay, so we have our pattern piece right here. We're going to copy it. We don't need to copy the grading. I'm going to get rid of this now. We're going to copy it. Select it all with your black cursor, which is the uh, selection tool. Hit Command C, that copies it, and then now we want to lock this page and we want to create a new layer 
and then call that layer um, graded up and we're going to hit command F and that will put your piece right on top of the other piece so uh, the reason why we want to do this because we want to keep that other size and then when we're grading this it still keeps this, the other guy underneath so you can actually see your progress um, now um, we're going to be grading two sizes too so this is a small and we're grading it to a large because we're going to have the computer do the medium for us now if we graded this from a small and just did an extra large we would be uh, have the computer do the the uh, medium and the large for us and it's really great once you see it happen uh, it's really awesome but so we're gonna be doing this two sizes so let's show the notes here are the notes uh, we're grading in 1 16th of an inch increments so to do one grade like I said here it'd be 1 16th up and an eighth to the right but since we're doing it too we're going from a small to large we have to double this so I already have the units here, how much you would move the keyboard increments. We would, use, we would do 1 16th twice, and we do the, to get to the eighth, we do 1 16th four times. So let me show you how this is gonna work. Let's zoom in. And you can see your 16th increments here. We would take our direct select, and we would pick this guy right here. So we're going 1 16th of an inch up, for one grade, and we're going another up, I mean another up, uh, we're going another unit up for two grades. Now we gotta go one eighth to the one eighth inch to the right. So that would be four units because one sixteenth goes into one eighth four times. And we're doing two sizes. So one eighth would be two sixteenths, one, two, and we're doing one more size, one, two. So you see how that works? Grading is not easy. Uh, if you don't get it, ask as many questions as you can, or you just might not be here yet. Uh, you have to have a basic understanding of grading to get this. Or you can maybe not get it and just follow along and write these notes down and then just trust me on that. So now we're at this corner. one eighth up and one eighth to the right would be one grade, but we're doing two grades. So we're going to do four units. One, two, three, four up. One, two, three, four to the right. Now the notch we want um we're grading the whole notch so with your direct select let's just cover that whole notch we're doing two sizes so we're going one two three four up and then one two three four to the left now this corner one eighth of an inch to the left and one fourth up copy him so we're going four units to the left, one, two, three, four, and then we're doing eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going quickly now. We're almost done. Now this one, he's going eight up and eight to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight to the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So down here is a little, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm. I'm horrible at training videos, obviously. So this one, we are grading the whole dart here. So you're going to select this. You're going to hold shift. Oops. And you're going to select this. And then keep holding shift. And you're going to select this. Because this guy gets graded together. And he's going one-fourth to the left and one-eighth up per grade. But we're doing crude two grades, so we already have the units broken down. Um, so we're going eight to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four up. One, two, three, four. And then, almost done, we got this and one more. This is only going a fourth to the left for per grade. So it's going to be doing two fourths, right? So we're going to go to the left eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have the dart point. <clears throat> Where are you? There we go. Here's the dart point. The dart point is going an eighth up and an eighth to the left per grade. So we are doing four units up and four units left. One, two, three, four, up. 
one, two, three, four, to the left. Now let's zoom out. Command minus is zoom out. There we are. So we've got this graded, right? And you can see where your uh, grading is. Grading is not uniform. You can't just take this piece and blow it up because each piece, as you see, grades differently because the body grows differently. People's bodies do not grow like in ratio. Uh, some people's chests grow faster than they grow up. Some people's butts grow out faster than their waist grows. Um, so those same principles apply over to grading. Now um, let's get rid of these notes. We don't want to see them. Um, let's show you the magic part, I guess. Um, so this is a little sloppy here, and this is really because of how I copied my first. So this was my first piece that I copied. This was a piece I did in school many, many years ago. Um, so I copied that for just for this example. Um, and this you would obviously, you'd want to correct this because you don't want this kind of stuff in your grade. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, you'd obviously, you would be doing it perfect, especially if you're doing it for a client, but this is just for an example. So we have our two pieces, right? So grab your selection tool. You're going to grab that guy, hit shift, and grab this guy. So now we are going to do the funnest part of this whole thing. Grab this guy right here, the blend tool, or you can just hit W on your board. So I hit W and go to any point. I believe it's any point. Um, but we'll just do this one for now. Click it and then click this. And then there's your medium. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. So, um, if, if let's say this was a small and this was an extra large, then you could go uh, double click blend and you would say, uh, where's the increments? Specified steps. And you would tell it, like, oh, I want it to have two or whatever. Preview it. Why won't it let me preview it? Okay, well, that's weird. And then hit OK. And then we'll do it again. Let's see if it does two. See, now it did two. So now you got your two grades in there. But for this example, this is a small and that's a large. So uh, we would want it to have one. But let's just keep it like this because I already showed you how to do it. Now your next part is... Hit your selection and you want to expand. What this does is separate all your pieces. Hit OK. And then you want to ungroup. So go to object and ungroup or um, the up, I think, is shift command G. And then take your pieces and there they are. Now, if you're going to print this, which, yes, we are going to do a printing tutorial once I perfect it myself, <laughs> um, you got all your grades. And you, of course, are going to want to label them. Um, and then you're going to want to arrange them on your sheet so that you could uh, print them all. Let's separate these here. can hardly see. So you can change the color of your grid too. You can see that's a little confusing, right? You can go to preferences, uh, I think it's guides and grid, and you can change the color by double clicking here. And let's see, uh, maybe we can do like, what would be, I don't even know, blue, purple, let's just maybe do purple. <laughs> let's see how that works out. Oh, that's horrible. Um, we'll just do like a light gray, something like, geez, I don't even know, how about that, okay, we'll just do like a light gray, so you got your four pieces, and of course you would go in and label them, you know, like, um, your style, blah, 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 Bodice, bodice, block, front, cut, 
to self, whatever it is, um, the date. It's June 6, 2015. And then your business or the client's business or name. And then you do that to all four pieces. Oh, and then also you would do the, the size. Like, I, I forgot what size this was. Let's say it's like the medium. Uh, and then there you go. It's graded. So I just did this really quick. Like I said before, let me know um, if there's something I missed. Maybe I can redo it and make sure everything's in. But I just did this the quick way. Let's see. We can turn off our grade lines too. Does that work? We'll see if that works. How do we get rid of our grid? Oh, they have dots. Well, that would be great. Look at that. So here's your pieces and uh, we're good to go. Next I'll show you how to get these printed. Also um, you'd obviously want all your pieces put in the system um, and graded and then before you can even print you have to walk all your pattern pieces of course. So I know how to, I can show you how to walk your pattern pieces um, and that's it for now. If you have any questions let me know. Sorry uh, for it being kind of crude and if it's confusing let me know. I'll clarify anything I can. Thanks!